Yo, Venom Squad, you guys ready to go herping? We're gonna go do a little bit of field work today and we need to get some vine and some stumps and some cool looking wood for the exhibits at the Serpent Center. So hang in there, we're gonna have some fun today. Bangs in your face. Subscribe now. Hey y'all, Dean and I are heading out to Copperhead Creek. <laughs> it's a little spot, just a couple miles from the Serpentarium. Actually, we're going there to, to look for some cage decor. It's a bunch of really neat big vine that wraps around the trees and grows up out of this swamp area. And uh, it's pretty neat stuff, so we're gonna go cut some down and use it for some of the exhibits. But this place is also loaded with copperheads. So we're gonna flip a little bit of stuff and see if we can find a couple copperheads this morning, which we probably will. Last time I was there, I found 18, 18 copperheads in like less than an hour. But uh, we're gonna monkey around a little bit, get out in the sun and have some fun today. Go get some stuff that we need. So uh, hang in there, we're gonna just do a fun video. Dina, you ready, baby? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Dina's got her bug spray on. She's ready. We are at a spot that I found not too long ago. It's on private property. And let me tell you, this place is eat up with copperheads. Kind of like an old trash dump. And this is our first piece we're gonna to turn today. And I use these tongs to quick grab stuff if I need to. But 10 to one, I bet you there's something under this piece right here. It looks good. I need to put my glasses on because I can't see without them. <laughs> I got Miss Dina out in the field today. Baby, I told you I was taking you places, right? She didn't think this is what I was talking about. <laughs> All right. You might wanna come up a little closer here, baby. There's something <clears throat> so we can see it before it dark. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, right there is a big copperhead. Come on down here, baby. You can see him. See him right there? I'm, I'm going to put the sun on him right there. See that? Can you see him? Yeah. He's right there. I got him. First snake, first flip, first snake. This place is loaded with copperheads. That's a pretty good one, too. I wonder if I can lift him up without him bolting, without him taking off. Let's see. He held up on me. <laughs> He's gone. He's in the underbrush and gone. And I'll tell you, you're herping and you're trying to pick up animals and get them out where you can photograph them or video them. These hooks, these stump rippers, they're good for lifting stuff up, but they ain't no good for picking up animals. They're just not. Like Dina's got me a little hook here that I'll use for lifting animals. And sometimes I'll go to the tongs like which I would have normally done here, reach in there and just pick that snake up real gently with it and move them out here where I can, where I can photograph them. But we don't need no copperhead photographs. We've got thousands of them. But the hook always works a little better than this. And I'm gonna tell you why. See, cause this, this doesn't hold a snake. And if you pick a snake up with this and you get him up too high, what's gonna happen is he's gonna slide right down here and on your hand. That's why snake hooks are designed with this little loop on them where you can lift them up and it hold them in that loop and they don't end up sliding down on you and hitting you in your hand and of course you always keep it at that angle okay but we'll demonstrate if we find another copperhead which i know we will <laughs> but we'll turn the camera back on when we find another snake all right here's another good spot get a shot of this you know i want to show see we're on the edge of a of a creek here right and this place has got a lot of copperheads in it and there's a lot of moccasins in here but it's all this stuff that's bordered here and it's all in the shade you know so these snakes are using this to stay kind of cool right now okay it's um they're not under this stuff to warm up or none of that and it's not a tin spot this is an actual ac cover an artificial cover where these snakes live but let's see if something's under here and looking gentle enough Oh yeah, there's a big, beautiful rat snake right there. Come on down, Dina. Can you see him? 
See him, there he goes. Let me see if I can get my hands on him. Well, I couldn't get that rat snake. He was buried pretty good in a hole, and I didn't want to pull on him and hurt him, so we just kind of let him go on his way. I wanted to get him up and show him to you guys, but maybe something under this stuff here. You never know, snakes are always under the weirdest things. home there. We're going to work through some more of this. We'll turn it on when we find another snake. <laughs> this is where you got to be careful. Okay, like I reached down and just grabbed the edge of this thing. And look at here. Look what's right there. There's a little landmine right there. That snake was six, eight inches away from my hand. Nice little southern copperhead. Pretty little snake. Let me see this camera, babe. I'll get a close-up of her. She hasn't even moved yet. I haven't spooked her because I lifted that up really gently. But gorgeous little specimen. If you're a Kistodon Contoratrix Contoratrix, your southern copperhead. Or that eastern copperhead. But she's behaving. She didn't bolt like that big one. Very cool. Well, we're gonna set this thing down real gentle and not disturb her. And we got a bunch more stuff to work through. Got all kind of stuff over here to work through. Look at all this stuff. This is snake hunting at its finest, y'all. <laughs> here you go, baby. We're gonna set this down real gentle so we don't disturb her. Just like that. Didn't even have to touch her. That's the way I like doing it where you ain't gotta touch her. See when we're we're out herping. I'm always looking for stuff like this. Look at these vines, how they're all twisted and tied up. I mean, this is all good cage decor for the Serpentarium, you know? So we always carry a machete with us too, you know? You want to get it when it's green, because when it's green, it's pliable. You can actually bend it and shape it to fit your exhibit however you want it, and then you let it go ahead and dry in the exhibit, and it's like that forever, and it holds its, it holds its form. And when it's green, there's no bugs in it. See, this stuff is still, this stuff is dry, so you could be transporting God knows what. But this one will take, because it's green and it's huge. It's a big twist behind it. This, that's a rope right there. That's gonna look cool in a Bushmaster exhibit. So I'm gonna cut this one, take that big piece, and put it in one of the Bushmaster exhibits. See, check that out. Is that not a cool piece? Our big exhibits are eight foot, so I can bend this thing up and shape it into one of the big Bushmaster exhibits. That looks like it comes straight out of a jungle somewhere in Central America, don't it? How cool is that? And you know what? It's free. Because <laughs> if you buy this kind of stuff, it's stupid expensive. It really is. I mean, when you can go out and spend some time out in out in the damn bush and find the stuff yourself and then lug it back, you know? And unfortunately, that's the way we gotta do it because we can't afford to buy this kind of stuff. <laughs> but awesome piece, that's gonna look good one of our Bushmaster exhibits. Well, we're at the edge of this this ravine here. It's a, it, it's a mess, it's thick in there, it's crazy. But um, we crossed this damn creek on the far side and I found some more tin laying out. There's, there's just junk piles everywhere here, it's crazy. But um, we're gonna flip a little bit of this stuff, see if we can find another copperhead. But uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay, nobody home there. Now this is new, I just found this. Just found this just minutes ago. I'm gonna lift this stuff real easy because these copperheads, when you lift a piece, they bolt, they take off. That's why Dina's got my tongs and she's got a couple of hooks that I use if I need to grab something. I never use this because snakes just slide off it. Nobody home there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is how you got to be careful, okay? 
I walked over here to flip this, and look, Dean, you didn't even see that. I didn't see that. I walked right by. Look at this. Look at this freaking cane break right here. Look at this thing. Look at this. Right there. I almost stepped on it. A big cane break stretched out right there. You know what, honey? Hand me, hand me that bigger hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Honey, back up a little bit. You know what? Us walking in here, it felt us walking in here, and we probably bumped it from underneath this tin. It looked like it crawled right out from underneath there. That was close. That was close. This is a, oh, that's a big, big sucker, too. Wow. Dude, I almost stepped on it. I, didn't, I did not even see this snake. I got my glasses on, too. This is why you use a hook with a, with a hook on it, like this. Look at that. How cool is that, right? Awesome. Man, I almost stepped on that cane break. Look at how the black on this snake. This snake is cool. Big, thick, heavy black chevrons. What an awesome animal. We must have bumped it walking through here. Tearing through all that thick stuff to get over on this side. But check that out. I walked right up. I, I literally did not see that snake sitting there. But how cool is that? He's actually pretty laid back too. He's calm. What a beautiful cane break. That's a good size one too. Looks like a big, that's, that's a female. That's a big female. That's a good looking rattlesnake right there. It's a little cool out. So snake's a little bit cool. So it's not acting too crazy. But that is your AKA timber rattlesnake. What we call them down here, cane break rattlesnake. But this is in the vein of the hot ones. These have the type A venom. These are the cane breaks that can put a hurt on you. I mean, these are the ones that can bite you if you are envenomated by this species of, by, by this locale of cane break. You're not only getting a hemolytic bite, you're, you're getting a neurotoxic bite also. Its venom contains a couple different enzymes and proteins that make this the type A venom. So this is, this is a dangerous animal. And I damn near stepped on it. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some better glasses, y'all. <laughs> but that was cool. We must have bumped it tearing through this thick stuff. But uh, I'm lifting the tin. It's crawling out the other side of it. <laughs> but what a cool rattlesnake. That is a good-looking cane break. That's why you got to use these kind of hooks, guys. And stump rippers. That's why Dina carries a couple little hooks with her. She hands them to me as I need them. Them stump rippers, you can't pick up a snake with them they just slide down and end up hitting you on the hand but outstanding what a this turned out to be a pretty productive day huh baby it sure did <laughs> that scared me <laughs> <laughs> it scared me look how chill this snake is good looking rattlesnake we're gonna put this snake back and let it get back under its tin y'all and head back to the truck with all of our vine and stuff that we've collected today <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and let this beautiful big girl slide back underneath her tin. And I'm gonna be extra careful. Go ahead, big girl. Maybe I'll come see you in a couple weeks. 10 to 1, she'll be, she'll be at the same spot, but we're just gonna let her go on her way. Hey y'all, well, we're back at the Serpent Center and that was a pretty fun day. I mean, how long have we been out, babe? couple hours mm -hmm. I mean we got some stuff that we need for the for the serpentarium and the cane break that was a cool find I mean unexpected but how awesome was that right and time to hang all the tools back up <laughs> I'll tell you though that cane break about scared the life out of me and that's a good example of how when you're flipping tin you know Literally, sometimes that animal isn't right there, but it's in the close vicinity of that tin. Cause I did, it blended in so well, I didn't see it in all that high grass. And we must have bumped it walking in there cause we tore through some thick, nasty stuff getting to that edge where we found that tin today. And I just found that today. I mean, what a cool find, but that was a nice cane break. Productive day and fun. If you're new to the channel, you wanna see more content like this, truly educational content, Hit that view local thing and subscribe now and check us out at the Serpent Center. This is Willie from Venom Central. We're checking out. Later.